Live team coverage begins in Hartford tonight. People gathering for vigil at the University of Hartford earlier today. The group calling on everybody to engage in acts of goodness to confront hatred and evil. News 8's Bob Wilson joins us live with more on that. Bob? There was love and peace in that synagogue before the shots rang out. And tonight on the University of Hartford campus, there was love and peace as they remembered those who were killed and moved that love forward. Bernice Simon, 84. Sylvan Simon, 86. Not only the names of the 11 killed inside the Pittsburgh synagogue were read aloud on the University of Hartford campus, but their stories as well. They held hands and they always smiled. He would open the door for her and all those things you'd want from another person. They were attacked and gunned down while they prayed for love and unity. You know, you pray for peace and it's just the total opposite that comes in at the moment that you least expect it. So the students organized a rally of good to take on the rising tide of hate. We've seen what is a shocking rise in anti-Semitic rhetoric and racist rhetoric and xenophobic rhetoric, but to see this kind of domestic terrorism take place is incredibly upsetting. It was an incredible turnout, a very large turnout, as students and faculty literally surrounded the quad here at the University of Hartford right on the steps of the library. And they were here not only to remember, but to make a change. And they emphasized this doesn't just happen in synagogues, but it happens in schools and other places around the globe. And they want to stop it. Yes, it affected the Jewish religion, um, but this could happen, like I said, to any other religion. So I think it's important to come and, and celebrate religion altogether. And that's what they did. Jewish leaders standing next to Muslim leaders. It's very important for all faiths to come together because we all worship the same God. And it seems like a lot of people these days are forgetting that. Catholic leaders standing next to Protestant leaders. We're all God's children. And um, when one of us are hurting, all of us are hurting. We, you know, there's a scripture that says, when one rejoice, rejoice with them. When one mourns, mourn with them. So as they lit the candles and read the names, they also passed out cards filled with good deeds, encouraging everyone to combat the hate with a kind task. Inspiring especially young people and who are going to be the next generation and the future leaders of this country, like, inspire them to make change. And, and on the cards, incredible tasks, actually. They're everything from something as simple as call your parents, say a blessing over the food to teach a Jewish lesson, to just being good and finding a random act of kindness and laying it on somebody. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.